5 and 0. Let's capture in the centre here. Develop the knight attacking the queen. Smaller piece attacking the higher piece. Let's just develop this pawn and get the knight out. He's going to be looking for his knight coming here. Yes, all pretty simple, straightforward stuff. And bring the queen across supporting. Hit the knight with a smaller piece. And then we can jump here and attack the queen. And we could take with the queen, but then he'll take the pawn here. So we'll take with the pawn. Okay, so we could attack the queen with the bishop. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece. He's gone with a check and he's also attacking the pawn here. But does that improve their position? That is the question we have to ask ourselves. Let's go and attack the queen. Goes for the pawn. Doesn't go. Oh, it goes for this pawn. I'm not sure about that. Let's just move the queen up, making more space for us if he's grabbing more pawns. It's gone back again, but this time doubles the pawns here. No, they're running, so they're not developing any other pieces. So we're going to actually attack the queen. Just looking for safety here. Okay, just um, castle, inviting the queen down. Well, they're not actually doing that. All right, let's just attack the queen. Safe haven coming across, but he wants to attack our king area, but that's going to get hit, so. Not forget that the knight, knight attacking the queen and the, and the knight. Take with the queen, does that give us a better position? Could take with the bishop, then we're on the rook. Take with the queen. Mm. It's less chance, isn't there? Take with the rook even, can we? Let's take with the queen. Normally you'd send your lower pieces out in the attack. I think this feels better positionally for the queen. Alright. Happy. Let's bring the bishop here. 2 on 1. Rook comes to protect. Bishop's down. Attack the queen. Bishop's going to take because he's got to check on the king, but the pawn can take. Or the queen can take, whichever. I'm going to take with the pawn. Give space for the rooks to attack the queen. Queen's come down, so I'm going to hit the rook. Got pieces towards the king area, but there's nothing meaty per se. The queen is still protecting. So I'll bring the rook up, putting a bit of pressure on the queen again. Don't know how many times this queen is going to get hit. And I'm actually going to go with the rook here. Bishop's got an extra way through to the queen. Supporting the rook as well. It does actually take. Okay. Quite surprised then. Pin. The bishop through to the king. That seemed to happen a bit quickly. They did a lot of work with the queen. So I think, well, before we do that, is there anything else? Some, sometimes, like coming here, putting a check on the king. King moves to the side. Bearing in mind, we've only got two pieces left, you know. And I'll only have one piece left if I take. <laughs> oh, cracky. I'm going to put a check on the king. Doesn't There's nothing that jumping in the front of it. Um, bu -bu -bu -bu. Anything else? I'm going to have to take. I'm going to be... Okay. One piece against two. Put a check on. So it's not easy doing it like this because at the end of the day 
they do have two pieces do I keep putting the checks on uh, just go here for now uh, so we do have a check here onto a white square so put a check on here The time is going down fast. I thought I was playing a long play game. Yeah. Um, if we allow the bishop out, or we've allowed the bishop out. Maybe put a check on. Mm -hmm. yeah, the bishop's out. Let's put a check on. Ooh, I can't go there, can we do? Let's put a check on. Let's take the bishop. Look at that. Ooh, let's take. I didn't think they'd go for that move, but never mind. Let's go here. Shut the push. Okay, that's pretty tasty. A lot of queen moves early on with the opponent, so we kept on getting checks on the queen, which I think helped us build better position, I believe. Yeah, have a look at the analysis on that. through as usual looking at any major dips which may help us further develop the game smaller piece attacking the higher piece knight attacking the queen and the knight it's all pretty even stevens at the minute doesn't like the bishop attacking because it's obviously i'm giving up pawns and stuff like that at some point but i don't really have a big problem with that Saying queen b5, queen b5, yeah, attacking the pawn here. Yeah, which they do, it's got a check on our king. So we move the queen across, um, which allows them to go greedy munching for pawns. I thought would, they would have gone for this one because it would have been on the rook. So it is showing that they're winning because they've got material up. But are they winning positionally? Doesn't like the queen move either. Queen comes and puts a check on, so as you can see that they kind of... I'd say it's like out and out winning, it's like plus 3.5, so we do say that if it's over the 2 mark, we pay attention to it. But on this occasion, in this particular game, I'm not too bothered about it because the Queen is being overworked. They're not really developing any other pieces. So that's my rationale for kind of ignoring the fact that, well, okay, you're a minor piece down and the material is shot shot because of that one piece but positionally i don't really see any harm or foul so the queen's struggling to find position now i think probably they should have just taken the queen but hey so the bishop attacks doesn't like the bishop attacking either interesting i like it it's disturbing their queen maybe there's a magical move it's saying queen b5 yeah so it's basically going for the exchange but they didn't do that, a lot of dancing with the Queen, so again it allows us to go for an X-ray through. Look at that massive, so it's saying Queen takes A7, and we did say yes, potentially coming down here greedy munging for the pawn. That's what I expected them to do, but I wasn't going to lose any sleep over that if they had done it. So it didn't feel detrimental to my position. So yet again I'm going to ignore the plus 3 
So the pawn pushes down, don't think we took major advantage of this particular move because it's like showing minus 5.3 here. So we actually put pressure onto the queen and the queen moves yet again. And then we put more pressure onto the queen. Gage bag does not like that move whatsoever. It's saying it's going from minus five to zero. And yet again, in this particular game, I'm saying I'm ignoring that fact because this felt fairly comfortable positionally for myself. I'm busy, I'm active. His pieces, his bishop is still stuck on the back. His rooks really aren't linked up. So on the whole, positionally, I'm feeling fairly comfortable. So the castle. So now we can bring the bishop up, putting a two on one on the pawn. All simple potatoes, really. So slightest of advantages, but it's neither here nor there for us. And then the bishop comes down, so we can take the pawn, pressure in the queen, and we can take the pawn back. So it's showing like drawish type situation, but in my head, I'm thinking, no, this is really quite nice positionally for um, our game. And the queen comes down, again, not too sure what that really is doing. So we bring the rook across, starting to build some pressure towards their king area. And their queen really is overworked and I can hear it panting, you know, with tiredness. So the rook puts pressure onto the queen and then they take the pawn. So that gives us a bit of a discovered type of maneuver. Obviously the rook didn't have to take the rook because the rook isn't actually got a check on the king. So the queen could have moved out of the way, you know, somewhere. Saying queen take h8, well, that's not very good, is it? <laughs> if that's the only choice that the computer's finding, queen taking h8 there. So then we still would have been a queen up, but they would have had more pieces on the board, I suppose. Oops, sorry. So we went up, queen did actually take. Oh, sorry, the queen did actually take. <laughs> All right, so we grabbed. And then the rook came down. And then we pinned through with the bishop. So it's showing we're minus four points something now. Even though they do have more pieces on the board, we still have to box clever with the pieces that we've got. We are less in material. So they move out of the way, we put a check on. Doesn't really like that check. What's it saying? Bishop takes f2. So it's just saying just do away with it altogether. And I suppose, well, yeah. I felt safer in numbers. Up to a point anyway. Alright, so the quick king moved across, so then we took and then at least we were getting something back from that um, situation. Now, do we keep the checks on the king with a single piece? We're pinning through to the rook just in case we have to take the rook off the board. But realistically, if you think about it, if we had to take the rook off the board, he'd still have a bishop. So, angling now, putting pressure onto the king, all simple stuff moving the pawn up and at that point I thought oh I'm letting the bishop in so the bishop's going to move he's going to get his rook involved but they didn't actually do that so they pushed the pawn down not that it would have made much difference but you know then the bishop's coming in we did have a flap what do we do we don't want that rook getting in so we put a check on the king and then capture with a check on the king and we can take the bishop off the board so at this point here uh, you know, it is a fast game. Sometimes some people might lose the cells and think, oh no, he's got me pinned to the, um, he's got me pinned to my king. Because uh, we did point to that square, you know, thinking, well, if they do do that, then obviously we can take. But yeah, in, it does happen. So really, I think that's a clever move that they did there because you might start panicking. You might say, ooh, do I just move my king out of the way? And then you lose your queen. These things do happen, trust me. So we captured the rook, and then at that point it's pretty plain sailing, just to jostle and look for a second queen. Trying to avoid any stalemates obviously, because nothing worse than stalemating when you've done all that good work. So another fairly interesting game.